Hey, can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Bear with me. Give me a moment. Thank you, guys. Es que I close the door. Otherwise, de lo contrario, se escucha un gran ruido. Entonces, um, let me go ahead and share my screen. Just let me close here some of the open windows that I have. Okay. And today we're going to continue with the topics, right? Actually, yesterday was the last day. ¿verdad? Era el último día de la de la sección cuatro, right? So today we're going to continue with section number uh, five, finally, right? Section number five. But I ask you to bring uh, some examples, right? Or some exercises, okay? About uh, the topic that I explained yesterday, okay? And here we have, okay, the, the um, topic uh, we, included talk questions, but that was just because we had to complete an exercise. Then, let me see, where is it? Acá creo que fue, okay. Over here. So here, right? Uh, the idea was, guys, for you to bring, okay, your own examples about defining and non-defining relative clauses, right? So were you able to, to bring examples of that? Anyone who wrote an example or or a an exercise about it? No one? Vaya, pues está bien. Just let me close oh, some things over here. Listo. Okay, very good. Bye. Entonces, si no hay ejemplos, let's move on then to the reading, okay? <clears throat> We're going to begin with the reading, and it says, Hooray for Bollywood. Now, uh, for some of you, right, uh, it, is, it is a topic that you find familiar, right? And as someone said yesterday, is the Hollywood, but in India, right? I'm going to share with you here the... The reading. Permítame que no las encuentro. Aquí está. There you go. Okay. So we're going to read a little bit. Okay. And it says, scan the article. Who do you think it was written for? People who work in the movies, the general public, or fans of Bollywood movies. Okay. So it says number one, right? A storm, right? Who can help me with paragraph number one? I'm going to use it here. Who can help me with paragraph number one? Ah, remember to raise the hand, por favor, levanta la mano, if you want to participate. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasó, chicos? Y vienen súper callados. Dígame, amiga. Ah, Rufino, dele, dele. Ok, I try. Um, a store of forces, mm -hmm. a play to make as emer emergency landing on an undesertic island. The only shelter is a spooky house where a murderer begins killing passengers. So what do these def defenseless people do? They have a beach party and perform an, elabor and, an elaborate sound and dance number. <laughs> Typical, right? From uh, Bollywood. Okay, and island, ¿verdad? When we talk about this word, <clears throat> I will share it with you. 
over here, okay, we say island. It's like that letter S is silent, island. Porque Iceland es este, Iceland. Okay, it's Islandia. the... Islandia. Islandia, correcto. Y island es isla, right? Very good, okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, read paragraph number two. Let me move on. Oops, no, cancelar. Boy Byron. Usted me ayudará con el segundo. It's very short, but let me check here. Over here. Okay, ready? Yes, go ahead. Okay. This is the world of Bollywood. The ascent described above is from the classic Indian film, Gunman, which was made in the 1960s. It is typical of the kind of movies that are still made in India today. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Can I have another volunteer to read the next paragraph? Next one. Me teacher. Go ahead. For as long as Hollywood has existed, existed. there has existed, there has also been a Indian film industry because is it based in Mumbai? Mumbai. Is it popularly called Bollywood mm -hmm. from the words Bombay and Hollywood? Mm -hmm. While is it as old as Hollywood? Is it much bigger? Bollywood cur currently has the longest movies industries in the world. It produces more than uh, 1,000 mm -hmm. films a year and as many and 14 million people and they pack into movie theaters to see Bollywood films. Okay, thank you. I'm going to erase all my drawings and I'm going to go down. Yo luego corrijo los, la, la parte de pronunciación cuando yo lo lea, okay? Ahora vamos con next one, okay? Who can help me? Thank you, Elizabeth. Vámonos con el siguiente párrafo, which is paragraph number four. I tried. Okay. While, while there are many types of films made in India, the most popular are the movies made in Bollywood, the films which are made in the Indy, in the Indy, language mm -hmm. generally deal with Indian history and social problems. The average Bollywood film runs about three hours, but audience don't seem to mean the length. The, the stories are melodramatic. Heroes try are around in Flashy cars, actresses twirl around in the beautiful costume, costumes, and the poor boy always triumphant against him. The rich be violent. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Creo que llegó hasta aquí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, 
Very good. Perdón, es que le estaba contestando a Wendy en el chat. And who can help me with the last one? Voy a cerrar acá. Permítanme, voy a guardar. ¿Qué, qué más es de borrar todo esto? Quiero ver si puedo mover aquí. Who can help me with the last one? If you see new words, cuando vea palabras nuevas, use lingui o, o reference, ok, y me ayuda. Ahí buscando las palabras, ok. Volunteer for the last part. Last volunteer. El último, nadie. Vaya, pues voy a, voy a hacerlo hecho. I'm going to erase all, everything y me voy a venir para acá para que podamos revisar la parte de pronunciation. Okay, we're going to check pronunciation of the words and I'm going to read it for you. Okay, but after reading a little bit, it says, who do you think it was written for? People who work in the movies? The general public or fans of Bollywood? What do you think? Who was it written for? Para quien se escribió este artículo? For the fans. Probably fans, for right? Fans. Uh -huh, probably fans because it contained a lot of historical uh, information, right? Muy bien. So I'm going to read it. Just pay attention, right, to the. Uh, lástima que no puedo hacerlo un poquito más grande. Creo que ahí está bien. Okay, it says a storm forces a plane to make an emergency landing on a deserted island. The only shelter is a spooky house where a murderer begins killing passengers. So what do these defenseless people do? They have a beach party and perform an elaborate song and dance number. This is the world of Bollywood. The scene described above is from the classic Indian film, Gumnan, which was made in the 1960s. It is typical of the kind of movies that are still made in India today. For as long as Hollywood has existed, there has also been an Indian film industry because it is based in Bombay or Mumbai, right? It is popularly called Bollywood. From the words Bombay and Hollywood, right? While it is as old as Hollywood, it is much bigger. Do you know that? Do you know that it is much bigger, you know, than Hollywood, right? Bollywood currently has the largest movie industry in the world. It produces more than 1,000 films a year. And as many as 14 million people a day back into movie theaters to see Bollywood films. While there are many types of films made in India, the most popular are the movies made in Bollywood. The films, which are made in the Hindi language, generally deal with, with Indian history and social problems. The average Bollywood film runs about three hours, but audiences don't seem to mind the length. The stories are melodramatic. Heroes drive around in flashy cars, actresses strolled around in beautiful costumes, and the poor boy always triumphs against the rich villain, right? They also feature many musical numbers, usually love songs. Although the films uh, may seem exaggerated to some, that's not how most film goers feel. These movies and their stars are beloved by audiences throughout Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. 
every South Asian grows up with some kind of connection to Bollywood. Notes Indian writer Suketu Mehta. In certain ways, it's what unites us, right? So as you can see, right, uh, this industry is bigger, you know, than uh, Hollywood itself. So let's go ahead and read the questions, okay? I'm going to uh, share the questions also with you, okay? And let's go ahead and try to try to answer them. So question number one, guys. How does Bollywood compare to Hollywood? How does Bollywood compare to Hollywood? Si tuviéramos que compararlo, how would you do it? ¿Cómo lo harían? How does Bollywood compare to Hollywood? Because both uh, has has industries, movies, movie industries. Mm. Very good. Both are movie industries. That is correct. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Miguel. I think you raised the hand. Miguel Arsenio. La lista, por cierto, no le pasa. Miguel Arsenio, no? Okay, what else? What else can you tell me about question number one? How does Bollywood compare to Hollywood? Vaya, voy a pasar la lista mientras piensan en la respuesta. Vamos a ver. Today is Tuesday, martes 15. Vaya. Eh, let's see, Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Teacher. Dígame. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Damaris, Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. María Griselda de la Paz Zamora. I am present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. I am here teacher. Thank you. Rufino Amílcar Hernández Linares. Present. Thank you. Sandra Janet Vázquez Cortés. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Raúl Arnulfo Mengíbar Crespín. I'm here, teacher. And Wendy Carolina, thank you. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Okay. Thank you very much. Alguien que se haya unido mientras estaba pasando la asistencia? No? Bye. Perfect. Okay, let's continue then. And let's go back to the questions, ¿verdad? Regresemos a las preguntas, okay? So question number two, how many Bollywood films are made every year, guys? How many Bollywood films are made every year? Uno. 
Okay, very good. 1,000 films a year. Yeah, right. They produce 1,000 films a year. Okay. What language is spoken in Bollywood movies? What language is spoken in Bollywood movies? Hindi language. Hindi, very good, okay. And Hindi language. Mm -hmm. How long is a typical Bollywood movie? How long is a typical Bollywood movie? Three hours. Three hours, right? ¿Y qué dice? But audiences don't seem to mind the lens. Pero las audiencias parecen no importar en lo absoluto la, la duración, ¿verdad? Eh, guys, would you watch a movie that is three hours, you know, uh, long? ¿Vería una película? Yes, yes it's a Titanic. Well, in yes. my case, in eh, my case, El Señor de los Anillos, ¿verdad? The Lord of the Rings. He visto las versiones extendidas, right? Sí, es un montón de tiempo. But when you like the movie, si le gusta la película, why not, right? ¿Por qué no? Eh, what about number five, okay? How do audiences feel about the stars of Bollywood movies? How do audiences feel about the stars of Bollywood movies? What do they think about the stars? It's in paragraph number five, paragraph cinco. Are beloved by audiences. Yes, right. They are they are very uh well they are admired and they are beloved by audiences, right? Throughout Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, right? So apparently they they have you know lots of fans, right? So good job on that one. Now over here, I'm going to close, ¿verdad? Y ahí pues hacemos el, el wrap up con la parte de la unidad anterior, okay? Now we're going to move to the uh, section that belong to these last four classes, ¿verdad? Pues ya esas son las últimas cuatro clases, ¿verdad? La última semana de trabajo, porque cada semana de trabajo consta de cuatro clases. Así de que this is our last week. And... We're going to begin over here. It says, wait. Oh, yeah, I really like this exercise, okay? But because of time, I'm going to move again, uh, direct to here. There should be a law. There should be a law. Debe de haber una ley, ¿verdad? So here we have a snapshot, okay? Uh, this is like the introduction of the, um, I would say, of the unit itself. And I'm going to share with you these questions. Let me see. Okay, over here, okay. It's against the law in the United States, in other countries, okay? So can I have a volunteer to read uh, these uh, situations in the United States? Volunteer to read? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Stay mute. Sorry, teacher. In the United States, it is again the law the home cameras in Addison. Arizona. In, Ken in Arizona. In Kentucky, the law requires people to take a bus once a year. In New York City, horses must be giving a 15 minute coffee break every two hours. In the state of Washington, it is illeg illegal to pretend your parents are rich. 
<laughs> Very interesting. Thank you so much, uh, Griselda. Look at the last one. In the state of Washington, it is illegal to pretend that your parents are rich, right? So imagine, right? <laughs> so probably a lot of people, you know, uh, pretend to to. <laughs> A lot of kids, yeah. lots of adolescents or teenagers, yeah. right, pretend to be, to have rich parents, okay? Um, well, in number one, it says it is against the law, right, to hunt camels in Arizona. So there are camels there, but you cannot hunt them. They are part of the, of the nature, right? In Kentucky, the law requires people to take a bath once a year. Okay. To take a bath once a year. Wow. Uh, in New York City, horses must be given a 15-minute break, right, uh, or coffee break every two hours. So every two hours, uh, horses need five minutes, you know, 15-minute, uh, I'm sorry, coffee break. And in the state of Washington, it's illegal to pretend your parents are rich. Qué rara esa ley, ¿verdad? So can I have a volunteer to read uh, in other countries, in other countries? Mm -hmm. Dígame, Carlos, please. Okay, teacher. In other country, it's Switzerland, it's offense to 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 hang to hang clothes or to dry on on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. It is legal. It's it is illegal. Yeah. To to own a dog, except a sealing a dog in in Iceland. Iceland, it is it is again the law not to flush a public to toilet in Singapore. In Finland, people must know how to read in the order to get married. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos. Well, take a look at this. Yeah, take a look at this interesting, you know, uh, it's, well, a actually actions that are against the law, right? Hmm. You have in Switzerland, it's an offense to hang clothes out to dry on Sunday. Imagine, guys, ya no habrían puesto, puesto miles de, mil de multas, ¿verdad? So in Switzerland, it's an offense to hang clothes. Colgar la ropa afuera en, el dom en un día domingo. Right? It's an offense to hang clothes out to dry on a Sunday. It is illegal to own a dog in Iceland, a dog, except a sci a C and I dog, right? C and I, I'm not pretty sure what it is. Probably it's uh como guía, but C I hey. dog, right? <laughs> Probably, but I'm not pretty sure. It says guide dogs. Ah, pues sí, son guías, un perro guía. Okay, when you cannot see, you can have a CNI dog in Iceland. And it is against the law to flush, well, not to flush, not to flush a public toilet in Singapore. Por Dios, ¿verdad? Mucho ya. Habrían uh, tenido que pagar multas, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros decimos tirar el... el, la, el, el Tirar del agua en el baño, ¿verdad? En el toilet. In Finland, people must know how to read in order to get married, right? So, yes, and, and I think it's it's okay. So, which of these laws would you like to have in your city or country and why, guys? And can you think of a reasons for this law? Do you know of any other unusual laws? So, after reading these laws, guys, which ones would you like to have in El Salvador? Which ones would you like to have in El Salvador from the ones that we just read? No, teacher. Any of them, ninguna. 
<laughs> Estamos bien tal cual. Bye. Okay, very good. Now, eh, as you can see, right, uh, the topic is related to that. Está relacionado con leyes, ¿verdad? O con cosas que nosotros consideramos que deberían de existir para tener una mejor armonía, ¿verdad? En un lugar, en este caso, pues en un país, ¿verdad? So, uh, here you have a, a listening. Uh, I, I'm not pretty sure if this one is in here. No sé si está. Eh, listening. Creo que no. Creo que no está el listening. No, no está. Okay. Lástima, ¿verdad? Pero sí, here you have eh, recommendations, right? Eh, but let's go ahead and read them. Leámosla, okay? This is a community meeting notes, okay? Uh, you have strongly agree, somewhat agree and disagree. What is the meaning of somewhat, Marce? Somewhat agree es como no del todo, ¿verdad? Parcialmente. I partially agree, ¿verdad? I can say I strongly agree, es estoy de acuerdo con todo lo que se dijo, or somewhat agree. O parcialmente, estoy, es de, estoy de acuerdo parcialmente y disagree, que es no, no estoy de acuerdo. So, eh, can I have a volunteer to read the list? Leamos la lista. Ok, a volunteer to read the list. Dígame, Elizabeth. Go ahead. Cyclists should be required to wear a hamlet, helmet. Mm -hmm. For me, strong, strongly agree. Okay, yeah, I strongly agree. Two. Two. Pet owners should be allowed to walk to walk dog without the alleged leash leash thank you o correa mm -hmm. leash leash people ought to be required to end paris at midnight Total, strongly agree. Yes, yes, definitely. Something has got to be done to stop litter, littering. Muy bien, littering. littering. People must be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Clothes must be passed to control the noise for, from car alarms. And drivers should only be permitted to hang their arm in case of an emergency. Mm -hmm, that's correct. Well, thank you very much. Now let's go ahead and check some of the words that we have here, right? Eh, littering. What is littering? Littering es contaminar el, 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 el medio ambiente. For example, when you go to the park, right? When you go to the park, eh, let's say that you bought food and you have the packaging of the food, right? So when that happens, you need to collect, right? Tiene que recoger toda la basura. But if you leave it there, si usted la deja ahí, entonces estamos haciendo esto. Esto es littering. When you throw, you know, packaging, when you throw things, you know, on the, on the streets, right? And unfortunately, right? Everything, it's like this. So no littering, right? No littering means that you don't have to throw garbage, packaging, or things, you know, related to uh, to that particular, you know, uh, extent, to that particular place, sorry. Then we have the next one. We have over here um, sidewalks, 
sidewalk, as you know, is la acera. Acera. Uh -huh. eh, honk, ¿verdad? Honk, they're horned. Honk es la acción, ¿verdad? De, de pitar, ¿ok? Eh, pitar o usar la corneta, diríamos acá. <laughs> Or, I don't know la how they bocina. call it. La bocina. La bocina también, muy bien. In case of an emergency. Muy bien, ¿ok? So, take a look. I think all of these, you know, make sense. La verdad es que tiene sentido. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. What do you think, guys? Do you strongly agree, somewhat agree, or disagree? Elizabeth said, I strongly agree, right? What about number two? Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. And yes, es cierto. But if you have a dog, well, just, you know, uh, take it for a walk, but with a leash. Con una correa, sin una no. ¿da? People ought to be required. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight because people need to sleep, right? Something has got to be done to stop littering. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. Sí, porque a veces se disparan en... Uh, that's a lot of noise. And drivers should only be permitted to honk their horn in case of an emergency. Vaya. Algo que he observado, chicos, es la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado participio. Por ejemplo, required. No decimos required. Decimos required. Eh, allowed. Allowed. Eh, permitted. Permitted. Ajá, permitted de estado veces, ¿verdad? Past. Past. Ok. So, let's be careful with that. Ahora bien, vamos a ver la estructura. Let's take a look at the structure over here. Vaya. Cyclists should be permitted. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk, ¿verdad? Pero aquí lo voy a dejar hasta acá. Eh, people ought to be required. Something has got to be done. Aquí se la voy a poner completa. People mustn't be permitted. Laws must be passed. Drivers should only be permitted. Okay? So here we have Esto es la estructura que estuvimos viendo así medio porque estuvimos contestando las preguntas que habían respecto a esta, estos ejercicios. ¿Qué viene después? Bueno, después viene acá un infinitivo, si usted se fija. ¿Verdad? Y vamos a luego a dividir los diferentes elementos que encontramos en estas oraciones. ¿Ok? Bye. Muy bien. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que tengo yo dentro, de, dentro de, la, de, lo, de los cuadritos? Bueno, lo que tengo ahí son dos cosas. Tengo el, el, el modal o el verbo modal. Y tengo el... Quiero ver qué color usar. ¿Qué color uso? Este vamos a usar. Vaya, tengo el verbo modal y luego tengo el verbo to be. De acuerdo, entonces nos vamos a ir arreglando acá. Verbo modal. Ay, no, este no se ve. Veamos este. Medio se ve. ¿Verdad? Verbo modal en todo. Aquí está should, shouldn't. O to, que es el o to es el verbo modal completo. ¿Verdad? Have to or have got to, perdón. Have got to. Mustn't, ¿verdad? Mustn't, must, y should. Ahí el only pues está de más, ¿verdad? Luego, ¿qué tenemos? Bueno, luego de eso tenemos el verbi, be. ¿Verdad? Be, otra vez acá, be, be. 
B, B, and B over here. Okay. Y por último tenemos required, allowed, um, done, permitted. Todos esos, ¿verdad? Son eh, pasados participios. Entonces, si usted se fija prácticamente en esta parte de acá, ¿verdad? Me va mostrando a mí lo que es la estructura que yo voy a necesitar para poder hacer este tipo de, de, eh, de oraciones. Les voy a compartir esto con las, con las notitas, ¿ok? Con mis notitas. ¿Qué se hizo? Aquí está. Give me one minute. There you go. Ahí se las dejo. Muy bien. Eh, ahora nos vamos a ir a la parte donde nos explica un poquito al respecto. Acá. Given recommendations and opinions. ¿Ok? Given recommendations and opinions. Todo lo que ustedes acaban de ver en el cuadrito anterior son recomendaciones, ¿verdad? U opiniones que nosotros tenemos. ¿Ok? Now. Can I have a volunteer to read the first part, okay? When you think something is a good idea, can someone help me to read that part? Number one. Maria Griselda, thank you. Okay. When you think something is a good idea, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners should shouldn't be allowed allowed to walk dogs without a list. Mm -hmm. Leash. Peep, leashed, leashed. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. Only that teacher. Thank you. Can you continue with number two? Okay. When you think something is absolute, absolutely necessary, laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People must be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule, a rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. littering. Only that. Thank you very much, Griselda. Very okay. kind. Okay, and we're going to check them right now. Uh, so it says given recommendations and opinions, ¿verdad? As uh, Griselda was reading, okay, if you see, si ustedes se fijan, son los ejercicios Perdón, son las oraciones del ejercicio anterior, ¿verdad? Pero de mi momento. De mi momento. En mi momento. Ahí está. Sorry, que uno de ustedes me estaba escribiendo. Vaya. Tenemos acá, como les decía, son las oraciones similares a las, a las del ejercicio anterior, ¿verdad? So, pero ¿cuáles son las dos categorías que tenemos? We have two different categories. And which are those categories? Estas que están acá. Look, I'm going to um, highlight them. When you think something is a good idea, 
and when you think something is absolutely necessary, right? Entonces, uh, here we have to be careful, okay? Uh, because, pues, para unos podemos usar, digamos, para una, para una idea podemos usar should or shouldn't or ought to, pero para la otra sí necesitamos must, mustn't, or has to, or has to be done. Okay, perdón, has got, has got, okay? And um, my recommendation is to follow the pattern, seguir como la estructura, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cuál es la estructura? La acabamos de ver hace un momento y la señalamos, ¿verdad? Decíamos que necesitábamos el modal, eh, verb B, y pasado participio. Modal, verb B, pasado participio. Modal, O2, ¿verdad? Verb B, pasado participio. Lo mismo para los demás, ¿verdad? Y eh, nada más poner atención cuál es el que necesito y en qué momento lo voy a usar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, eh, I can say something. Hey, homework, homework should be assigned as a practice, ¿verdad? Voy a borrar todo acá para darles mis ejemplos, ¿ok? Ay, perdón. Eh, ahora sí. Les voy a poner un ejemplo acá. When you think something is a good idea, ¿ok? Vamos a usar should, porque podemos usar should, shouldn't, or ought to, ¿verdad? Entonces, I can say homework should be assigned as, uh, well, to practice, okay? Homework should be assigned to practice English, ¿verdad? Y si usted se fija, I'm talking about something that I think is a good idea, and I'm using the structure. Homework should be assigned to practice English, right? Another example it can be um, students, students shouldn't be allowed Hablando de, un, de, una, de una clase presencial, ¿verdad? No en el caso de, de una clase en línea, pero digamos que fuese una clase presencial. Students shouldn't be allowed to use their phones in, during the exam. During the exam. During the examination or during the exam, right? Eh, another example, okay? Um, students ought to be required, right? Ought to be required to take a final test after each level. Que en el caso de ustedes lo hacen, verdad? Students ought to be required to take a final test after each level. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted se fija acá, es, es lo mismo. I think it's a good idea, ¿verdad? I think these are good ideas, ¿ok? Yo creo que esas son buenas ideas. But, ¿ok? It depends, right? It depends. Permítame. Se lo voy a poner así para que vean los ejemplos de un solo. Okay, so students should, I mean, ought to be required to take a final test after the exam. Y si ustedes se fijan, ocupé las mismas tres estructuras. Because I think these are good ideas. Ahora vamos con el segundo. ¿Qué pasa con el segundo? Bueno, en el segundo, dice, when you think something is absolutely necessary. Okay, I can say these are absolute, absolutely, right? Okay, absolutely necessary. Okay, let's go ahead and take a, take a look at the examples that I'm going to create. 
Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms, okay? Uh, I can say something like, siempre hablando, ¿verdad? En el, en el, en el, el, el mismo topic about teaching, okay? Eh, listening, listening uh, tests, right? Must be passed to students, right? I mean, to help students improve their English, okay? Listening tests must be passed, right? To help students improve their English, okay? Mustn't be permitted. Cell phones mustn't, mustn't be permitted, right? In the classroom, okay? Cell phones mustn't be permitted in the classrooms. Um, has to be, right? Um, a WhatsApp, right? A WhatsApp. A WhatsApp group, right? Has to be, has to be created to send students information. A WhatsApp group has to be created to send students information, right? And the last one, um, something, right? Something has got to be done to uh, increase vocabulary in English. Entonces, ahorita lo he puesto todo en el campo de él, la, la, el aprendizaje del idioma inglés, right? Eh, permítame, voy a mover esto para acá. Ajá. Y lo voy a poner acá. Para que aparezca en el, la pantalla. Esto. Ya les comparto los ejemplos, permito. Que es este de acá. Bye. Sorry. There we go. Vaya, chicos, ahí está. Esos son los ejemplos que yo les puedo dar, okay? Now, uh, let's go ahead and think about your own examples, okay? Ahora van ustedes a crear sus propios ejemplos. Pueden hacer dos y dos. Dos acerca de something that you, things that you think that are absolutely necessary or things that you consider are good ideas, okay? Lo voy a ordenar nuevamente en el orden en el que van. There you go. Bye. Entonces, I will give you guys uh, three minutes. Unos tres minutitos, ¿verdad? Para que usted piense en sus ejemplos, ¿ok? I would say probably four minutes, ¿ok? Cuatro minutitos. Pero deje las hechas porque incluso si no podemos decirlas hoy, pues ya las tiene listas para mañana, ¿ok? So you have four minutes. Tiene four minutes to, to create your sentences. Pueden ser dos y dos, ¿verdad? Dos ejemplos de la de arriba eh, con good ideas o dos ejemplos con something that is absolutely necessary.
my chicos time's up okay but please just remember para mañana sí quisiera que de verdad porque a veces les pido las les pido traigan los ejemplos traigan sus oraciones y no los traen pero para mañana pues espero que sí aunque sea un par porque pues yo les di minutitos ahorita que todo lo que acabo de explicar pues está fresco que ustedes hicieran dos y dos verdad dos ejemplos de cada una y pues ya el día de mañana las vamos a compartir ok así de que eh, Do you have questions, preguntas, chicos, acerca de, de lo que vimos ahorita? No questions. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Vaya, perfecto. No Solo voy a pasar entonces la, lo que me falta acá. Veamos. Eh, permítame, voy a abrir la lista. Permítame. Ahí está. Eh, Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Cristina Abigail. Ahí está. Eh, Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Y Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Present. Thank you very much. Bye, chicos. Entonces, I'm going to stop here and let's meet tomorrow, okay? Good night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Sure. Okay, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.